Hey, it's Jeff. Kilo 3, Juliet Romeo Zulu. Guess what, folks? POTA is changing, whether you like it or not. POTA switching country designations used for the park's prefix to the ISO 3166 standard. And you might ask yourself, what is the ISO 3166 standard? And that's a good question. The ISO 3166 is a standard published by the International Organization for Standardization, abbreviation is ISO. It defines the codes for the names of countries, dependent territories, special areas of geographical interest, and their principal subdivisions, that is, states and provinces. It was first published in 1974. It's updated every few years as needed. But what's included in the ISO 3166 standard? Well, each part of it is labeled as codes for the representation of names of countries and their subdivisions. So part one is country codes and it is notated as ISO 3166-1 colon the year. And currently uh, the last update to this was 2020. So you'd see this listed as ISO 3166-1 colon 2020. Part two is the country subdivision codes. And that's notated as ISO 3166-2 colon the year. And that's what Parks on the Air is actually switching to. And part three is codes for formerly used names of countries. That is countries that no longer exist or have changed their names. And that's notated as ISO 3166-3 colon the year. And these country codes can be represented either as a two letter code, which is alpha two, which is what Parks on the Air will be using it will be a two letter prefix to all park entities in the system. And this is recommended as a general purpose code. Many organizations use the two letter code. Next is a three letter code, which is Alpha 3. And it's more related to the country name. And if you look at a list of this online, you'd be able to see what I was talking about. I'm not going to share that information here since Parks on the Air is not going to be using that. And also the other way is a three digit numeric code, which is numeric three. And this is useful if you need to avoid using Latin script. So here's some example of country codes uh, listed as ISO 3166-1. So the United States of America is US, Canada is CA, Japan is JP, United Kingdom, and the full name is United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland is GB. Australia is AU, Norway is NO, Sweden is SE, Switzerland is actually CH, Venezuela VE, and the Netherlands is NL. The ISO 3166-2, which is the country subdivision codes. So using two examples of the United States and Canada, as we just mentioned, the United States of America, ISO 3166-1 code is just US, but the dash two code is the country code and its subdivisions. So Delaware would be US-DE, Pennsylvania is US-PA, Virginia is US-VA, Arizona US-AZ, and Idaho US-ID. Canada is the same thing. Their country code is CA. And for Manitoba, it'd be CA-MB. For Ontario, it'd be CA-ON. Quebec would be CA-QC. Nova Scotia, CA-NS. And Alberta, CA-AB. And some examples of uh, ISO 3166-3, codes of formerly used names of countries. So the USSR, Soviet Union, was SU. The German Democratic Republic, which was East Germany, was DD. Yugoslavia was YU. Czechoslovakia was CS. And Burma was BU. Uh, if you don't know, Burma changed its name to Myanmar. So that's why the, it's a former code. But why is POTA changing? Why this change? As stated on the Parks on the Air documentation website that they were not following any standards consistently throughout the program. POTA has been growing since its inception. 
So there comes up with conflicts with existing country codes. Countries were using the prefix of their call signs, which conflict with existing standard country codes from the ISO 3166 system. For example, Canada, the park started with VE, dash the number, but Venezuela's country code is VE. So when parks from Venezuela come in, there's gonna be a conflict. Instead of using the prefix of call signs, Parks on the Air has made the smart choice of using a internationally recognized standard. And like I said, it's a good thing. It's following a recognized standard throughout the world. It minimizes conflicts with new countries that are added into the Parks on the Air program. And the conflicts with existing countries will be resolved and everything will be standardized. So the U.S., all the parks start with K, will now turn to U.S. Puerto Rico, which was K, will be switching to PR. Canada was VE, is switching to CA. Australia was VK, and is switching to AU. Brazil was PY, switching to BR. Paraguay was ZP, and that's switching to PY. Belgium was ON, and switching to BE. And New Zealand was ZL, that's switching to NZ. As I mentioned earlier, you can see the, the conflict with Canada and Venezuela. And you can see with Brazil and Paraguay, there's a conflict with the, the prefix of call signs and the country code. So this will resolve those conflicts. So where can you see all these changes that are happening? Well, the only place really is to go to the Parks on the Air website at pota.app, P-O-T-A dot A-P-P. And you click on the hamburger menu, which is called a trigram, the top left of the site go down to rules and documents, you click on that, and then click on changes. Then you'll be able to see more details. You'll be able to see the past changes and the upcoming changes. And I will place a link in the description below to this website. And uh, to those people that don't want the change or don't like change, you're gonna have to suck it up, buttercup. You'll have to retrain your brain. And it'll take some time to, to remember all this stuff. For example, when I go out of state, I still wanna say, that I'm in Delaware when I'm uh, making QSOs. And over time, it'll become second nature, just like it did the first time. And you'll also want need to listen, listen, and listen some more. Uh, it will take time, definitely, but other activators will probably have the same issue. They'll still reference their parks with a K, or say Kilo. Uh, this will happen all over the world uh, to the countries that are having the changes done to their POTA entities. It will all have to deal with it in one way or another. So you're gonna to have to embrace this change cause there's no going back. But like all things, and nothing's perfect when it first comes out and the changes that are done, hopefully, are always for the best. So I believe this is a good thing for the Parks on the Air program. I can't wait for all this to happen. And by the way, if you're in the US, March 20th, the US and Puerto Rico are changing. So get ready to say US dash your park number. Thank you all for watching, be safe, have a good day, good night, and 7-3.